Hi everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today we're going to talk about the UK Ferrari recall that all 458 owners have received through the Ferrari app. Let's do a talk and drive and I'll explain a bit more to you about this situation. <laughs> known about back in October November 2021 last year and it was known about in America American owners were issued with a notification by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and this notification was sent through by letter and it detailed the possibility of brake failure due to brake fluid leakage now it also detailed in that notification that in the event of brake failure then to pull over as quickly as possible and if you couldn't pull over quickly as possible because you had total brake failure then to use the parking brake to try and retard the vehicle now the parking brake implements brake shoes um, it's on a totally different circuit to the normal disc brake system but it implements brake shoes to slow the car down so it's not going to be as efficient as using the normal brake discs but it's going to be better than nothing so we just pulled over here just to drop the roof down and we'll carry on. Now this recall, as intimated earlier, is in two parts. Now the first part, I'll show you underneath the front compartment, or they call it the frunk on these types of cars. It's actually a replacement of brake fluid reservoir cap. Now the brake fluid reservoir is kept in the luggage compartment near this frontal area, near the windscreen wipers. Um, this is the 2015 later model 458. So this is a bit different in its design to earlier models, but in effect, it, you know, brake the brake, the, master, the brake master cylinder cap is the same thing. So this is the design of the original brake master cylinder cap. Now the first item that's replaced for the recall is this cap is replaced with a, a newer version. Now the perception is that the brake, brake leakage is incurred when the brake fluid gets hot and the brake fluid expands. Because the existing brake master cylinder cap doesn't allow the pressure to escape, the brake fluid leaks out elsewhere so it causes excess pressure within the system and at the end of the day pressure is going to get out somehow uh, so it so it leaks i'm not sure where it leaks it's they don't haven't really detailed where the actual brake fluid leaks from i don't know whether it leaks from the cap area or where it leaks um some other area i believe it it may be between the brake master cylinder and the brake servo and the brake servo is a brake assist in effect so it means that it assists you in brake in braking force i believe that's where it leaks so 
the cap doesn't allow the increased pressure when the brake fluid heats up to expand and, and to, for, the, for that excess pressure to escape. Now the new cap has a flexible membrane. Uh, we'll show you the new cap here. As you can see, when comparing the two caps, the new cap is, is bigger in its diameter and its circumference and it has a flexible inner membrane part. That new inner membrane part of the new cap in effect um, deflects and allows the excess pressure to escape, thereby um, preventing the excess pressure from building up inside the system and causing brake fluid leakage. Now, in addition to the new cap, also there's a firmware flash. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that the ECU firmware is updated. An ECU firmware update is, is, is up, an ECU firmware is updated with respect to the brake failure warning with regards to low brake fluid. Now currently on the original models, the brake fluid warning light comes on when the brake fluid it drops down to 48% full on the brake master cylinder reservoir. The firmware update changes this so that it gives you a warning when it's around 90% full, so only a drop of 10%. Now that obviously is giving you more time. If the brake fluid is leaking, it gives you more time to pull over and to stop and to, and to stop safely and not have to hopefully use the parking brake. It does mean that if you don't have the brake fluids up to the correct levels, then you may get that warning anyway, but you shouldn't do. You should only get that warning when the brake fluid drops to 90%. Hopefully that's provided some clarification on this recall issue for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.